Hi, I'm Matt Smith, and we're here at Six String Ranch in Austin, Texas. Today at Six String Ranch, we have Johnny Zemick. Jonathan Zemick is the co-founder of Zeta Royal. Zeta Royal is an organization that takes care of everything you need to know after you've made a CD. If you like what he has to say, check him out at ZetaRoyal.com. So you made an album. What do you do next? Most artists fail to have a successful release because they do not adhere to some simple guidelines. We're here today to talk about some of those guidelines. So one of the biggest things to think about when you put your album out is going to be the timing of the record. The biggest thing with timing is all about when other people release their records and not to release it at the same time. There's a lot of festivals that go on in the United States that actually draw so much attention that releasing your album during those times could actually be detrimental to your release. So the worst times to release your CD is obviously going to be around times when a lot of folks are also releasing their CDs, which is going to be around things like the summertime, which is when most bands tend to go on tour. So you want to try to find the perfect time where you can tour on it, you can promote it, but you also won't run into a whole bunch of other folks who are doing the exact same. You also want to take a look at, do you have the business behind the record complete? Now, the business that we're talking about are things like getting set up with a PRO or a performing rights organization. In the United States, we have BMI, ASCAP, and CSAC. You know, you also want to look at who recorded on your record. Was anybody hired as a studio player to work with you? Additionally to that, you want to make sure you get your copyrights done, which is the biggest thing of all. You have this beautiful project. You want to protect your intellectual property as well as the master of the song itself. And to do that, you head to the copyright.gov website and you fill out a form SR or form PA. So the biggest thing that you can do is take the time before you release it to actually get the business of the record in order so it can be successful down the line with things like not being stolen and licensing opportunities. You really want to think about the timing of when you should start your PR campaign. In the indie world, it's typically three months before you release, you should have that nice block of time to be able to have the money to promote your record, as well as the connections, as well as the mental thought behind being able to contact everybody to release the record. PR is literally the biggest thing you need to focus on. So most of us are indie artists. With that being said, the budgets aren't really there as to what a large record company would have. So with budget in mind, there's certain things you can do to kind of hedge the system to have the best reaction and the best way of getting your record out there. So some of those ways are simple. Use your social media. Utilize Facebook with targeted ads. Utilize your Instagram with photos from the studio, stuff like that. You know, utilize your Twitter to try to get people involved. You know, get people interested. So when you're releasing your record and you can't afford a PR company, you're going to have to reach out to a lot of these news outlets, a lot of these magazines and blogs yourself. Now, the first thing you need to do is think about putting together a small press kit or a press release. So a press release is going to be a very basic description. You know, it could be four to five lines of what your band is, what is your sound, what are your roots, and really what makes you interesting to where someone's going to want to listen to your music. So once you've drafted up a press release, you're going to want to send it to anybody and everybody that you can. You can do it by emailing blogs. You can do it by sending it to simple, you know, magazines who cover, you know, band stories, things of that nature. But do your research and try to find lists and contacts for music directors, for music supervisors, for a lot of these magazines, blogs, TV shows, film, movie, anything you can, just get it out there. The majority of these people are literally going to take your press release and the words in it verbatim and just repost it onto their blog or repost it in a news story. So when you write it out, make sure it's cohesive and that it really does tell the story of your band and what you guys are all about. You really need to think about what is the image that you are putting out there. And one of the best ways to put content out is through video. And this world is hungry for content and people want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it at all times. So doing videos on YouTube or just making simple videos on your iPhone are incredibly creative and great ways to connect with your audience, make new fans, and just push your album and get people excited for it. If you're a heavy metal band, you're obviously not going to market to the country market. So when you actually send out your press releases and you do your PR campaign, make sure you direct it to the right people, to the right demographics, to the right genre, you know, magazines and the right genre TV shows, the right genre newspapers and blogs. You know, you could spend a lot of time and a lot of wasted time if you direct it towards the wrong people, places and things. 
So go to a band that sounds similar to you's website. You know, go to their articles page or their news page and see who's writing about them. You know, contact those people, get in touch with those magazines, those blogs, or even the TV stations who are posting videos about them. Do the best you can to do the market research to find people that are similar to your genre of music and contact them. Now it's time to set up your distribution. So most people today may want to think twice about pressing physical copies. If you're a touring musician, you probably want to print physical copies. But if you're one who may play the local gig or really doesn't play at all, think more about digital distribution. And no matter really who you are, you should establish a digital distribution account with one of the major players like CD Baby, TuneCore, or Symphonic. They're all great at getting your record out into iTunes, Apple Radio, Pandora, and really getting it global to where you don't have to physically be there for those people to hear your music. Timing, PR, and distribution are just as important as the recording of the album itself. So make sure you don't skimp on it. Do the research, put the time into making sure you have an effective campaign in all three of those areas, and you will have a successful release. On behalf of the Dodario Education Collective, I'm Jonathan Zemek, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and also check out our other videos at sixstringranch.com. We'll see you next time.